hiding and they heard shots in the back of the building and they ran out the front of the building but minutes later the front windows were shot next right next to the door they came out of one person is dead four others hurt following Tuesday's shooting at Alina Health Clinic in Buffalo. Meanwhile, charges could be filed against a suspected shooter as soon as today. 67-year-old Gregory Ulrich is in custody and expected to be in court tomorrow. Our Ben Henry is joining us now with the latest on the investigation. He's live in Buffalo. Ben. Megan and Chris, unless you're an investigator, you're not getting close to this Alina Clinic as police still have it on lockdown. We expect to learn a bit more about what exactly happened inside when we connect with law enforcement later today. But we were able to connect with them yesterday. They described the scene. They described the inside of the clinic as a horrible scene yesterday afternoon. Let's talk a bit more about that. It was county officials and city officials as well that say five people were shot. One has died, three are in critical condition at North Memorial Health Hospital, and one was able to go home. It was just before 11 a.m. Tuesday, police say Ulrich entered the Alina Clinic and started to open fire. By 11.45, law enforcement had sent the victims to the hospital, and Ulrich was in custody. They also cleared the scene and area as fast as possible because a suspicious package was found in the clinic's lobby. The Minneapolis, the Minneapolis bomb squad was called in to get the all clear, but for a while, many people, including those who were even dropping family members off of the clinic, didn't know what was happening or what was going to happen. To go in and have a shooting of people that are health care, taking care of people, it's, it just doesn't make sense. And so to pray for them and their families. Once they had Ulrich in custody, investigators not only searched his former home in town, but they also searched a motel room he was currently staying at in Buffalo. More suspicious, possibly explosive items were found at that motel. That, of course, one of the questions we expect to ask law enforcement when we connect with them later, what exactly was found in those searches and what exactly happened inside of the clinic. Now, Alina Health did connect with us through a statement. They said their thoughts are first and foremost with those tragically injured and with their loved ones. Investigators have not yet released the identities of those who were shot. Of course, we do expect to learn a bit more about that, including the one that passed away in a metro hospital yesterday. We're live in Buffalo, Ben Henry, 5 Witness News. And this morning we're learning more about the suspected shooter, Gregory Ulrich. After the shooting, investigators quickly began looking into his former mobile home in Buffalo. And we talked to one of his neighbors there. I'm shocked, of course. Like, who thinks their neighbor's going to do that? Like, you don't know. It's shocking. It's everything shocking. You're worried about your safety. You're worried about your children's safety. A member of the family that used to own that mobile home park told us that Ulrich recently had a death in the family, sold the home, and went to stay at the Super 8 Hotel there in Buffalo. Looking back on the suspect's court records, we found that Ulrich was cited back in 2018 for violating a restraining order. As part of the conditions of a release at the time, he was not allowed to enter any Alina clinics or the Buffalo Hospital. Records show during that court case, he attempted to apply for his permit to purchase a firearm. The county flagged it, writing it was highly recommended that the defendant not be allowed to have, use, or be in possession of any dangerous weapons. Then, last April, records say that Ulrich was deemed mentally incompetent in that case. Our reporting partner, ABC News, says, according to Ulrich's brother, he hurt his back a few years ago and that doctors at the Alina Clinic prescribed him opioids. The brother says he believes that may have something to do with yesterday's shooting, but again, no motive released by authorities as they continue to investigate. Now this morning, local leaders are expressing their condolences to the people of Buffalo as they process this tragic shooting. Governor Tim Wall saying that he is sending his thoughts and his prayers to the Buffalo community and to emergency responders. We have a community traumatized. Um, we have families of the workers who are there unsure of what's happening. We know to get that information as, as quickly as possible. And again, I want to just extend uh, heartfelt uh, prayers and thoughts to those folks and heartfelt thanks to the Buffalo Police Department and Wright County Sheriffs who responded. State Representative Marion O'Neill, who represents Buffalo, did release a statement reading, My prayers are with those who were hurt as they begin down this difficult road to recovery. Now our team will be tracking every step of this investigation into the shooting in the days ahead. Keep it with 5 Eyewitness News for updates on air and online at KSTP.com.